In this lesson, you're going to learn how to run FFmetrics. And you've got the file installed here. Let's get it on our desktop to simplify things. So I'll paste a shortcut, cut out all this stuff, and now I can run the program. From here, let me switch to the source folder. So here's the program. And to operate it, you just find your source file, drag it in here. Find your encoded files, drag them in here. You can drag up to 12 files into this box to get them analyzed. And you have the option to analyze the full stream. I'm going to use five seconds here for the sake of time. You can also skip the first few five seconds, 10 seconds, if you'd like. And so you've got your source file. You've got your encoded files. Choose your metrics. I'm going to do PSNR, SSIM, and BMAP here. If you want to autosave results on completion, you can do that and then point to the folder you want the results files to be copied to. Same thing for frame-related data. And we'll send that to the same folder. If you want to choose VMAF options here, this is where you choose the model. You can choose either the JSON or the Pickle model. Doesn't really matter. And then you can pool using the harmonic mean or the mean. I prefer the harmonic mean. And this obviously is how you would select the phone model. Once you get all that set up, you click Start. And the program runs. I'll come back once all the data is filled in. So we are all done. And what you see here, and, and just by way of background, I'm analyzing the quality of five files encoded using the HEVC codec. This is X.265 using the ultra-fast preset. This is NVIDIA T4. This is Quadra and T408. Those are NetInt products. And this is X.265 Medium. And you see the scores here. These are average scores. And I'll show you some more detail in a moment. And the best score in the group, in this case it was medium, is in green. And the worst score in the group is going to be in pink. And if you want to hover over the score itself, you'll see more information about the score, including the mean score, the harmonic mean score, minimum frame, maximum frame, and standard deviation, as well as the percentile data. Most of this information is going to be available in either the frame file or the results file that we'll look at in a moment. And this is the plot, and there's a separate plot for PSNR, SSIM, and VMAF. And you can zoom into the plot using your mouse wheel, and then click your right mouse button to kind of zoom around. At any point in the video, you can click down here and see that this frame came from the T408. And let's go to This frame came from the NVIDIA, and you can see the frame number and the metric. So let's go to the results files themselves. So we see a bunch of results here. This is the general results file that's going to have all of the summary data in it. And these are the individual results files for the metrics and the file that it analyzed. So this is X.265 medium, the VMAF score. Pretty much garbage if you open it up directly. But if you open it up within either Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to use. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. One other feature I wanted to point out is that you can save projects. So if you wanted to redo this one for any reason, You just save that, and then you can load it. And if the files are still in the same folders, you can reload the project and rerun it. 